On this beautiful and gorgeous Sunday night, we declare God's blessing over you, your family, and your friends. God bless you. Good morning, good afternoon, and a wonderful good evening, my dear friends. Thank you so much for joining us on this special broadcast here at Fire of God. We're so happy that you are with us. We hope that you hit that like button, hit that share button. If you haven't done so already, connect with us tonight. We're going to have something special for you. You know, over the last year and several months, Fire of God has been operating and serving our city and serving our community in a wonderful, wonderful way by providing free fresh groceries to over 20,000 plus families just last year alone, not counting this year, but just last year alone from March to December, we were able to bless and impact over 20,000 families for the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're so grateful to our ministry partners and friends for standing with us throughout. But this year, we've also continued to be a blessing to our city and our community. But now we are getting ready for in-person services as they return to the fire of God one more time. I'm standing right behind me is the great tabernacle here at fire of God. And today our team of volunteers and staff is coming in to prepare the sanctuary for your arrival. On today's broadcast, we want to show you a little bit behind the scenes as to what God is doing and the preparations that are taking place for in-person services here as they return to fire of God. At the end of this broadcast, I'm going to be sharing with you in the exact day and time that fire of God will reopen once again. So if you are in the greater Ottawa area, if you are within driving distance of fire of God, you want to be sure to come on out because I know it's going to be a blessing to your life and a seat behind me will be waiting for you. So on this beautiful, beautiful sad Sunday night, sorry, join us as we go behind the scenes showing you what God is doing as our team prepares for the grand reopening at fire of God. Don't you go anywhere. Watch this. We'll be right back. of the Lord in the in the temple where we lift up the name of Jesus we are super excited for what God is gonna do I was praying this morning and I was saying Lord let your glory descend upon fire of God the glory of God yeah. is here but when we gather together in the grand opening supernatural things are going to happen they are happening and they will happen miracles will take place healing restoration and salvation will be seen in this house there will be a fire that will increase and will touch this city and will touch this nation so we cannot wait to see you we cannot wait to meet you we cannot wait for this grand opening we will see you soon and god bless
the grand reopening of fire of God. You know, God's presence has always been here. It has never left. But, you know, we are just excited to be able to be united soon and very soon to be able to worship our King of Kings and praise Him for all He's done and for who He is. You know why here we're just, you know, preparing the tabernacle, making sure everything is top-notch for the day that we get to reopen and everybody can just flood the altar. So, you know what? Tune in soon because I know Pastor Alvin is going to give you the date. Hi, everybody. I'm Doris. I'm a, a fire alarm club, uh, outreach center, a voluntary, um, volunteer. <laughs> and uh, we are here just accommodating the chairs in the sanctuary. We are looking forward for the power of God to descend over this place and be filled with people worshiping the Lord all together. We are not just about the, uh, the food bank, but we are also feeling the souls of the people and we are getting ready to do that and even more. Okay, we are looking forward to the presence of the Lord come over these places, always have happened in the past and feeling the people and heal them and deliver them and and save them okay god bless you everybody this is 212 Murray street okay uh the outreach center fire can outreach center but normally we are called fire of catch 212 Murray street we love you everybody and we are looking forward to seeing you very soon god bless you Hey everyone, it's awesome to see you all again. You know we're here today at Fire of God Church. We're cleaning up, we're fixing the house of God because so soon we are going to be able to come back and worship and praise God here in the sanctuary. You know, it's amazing because the Word of God says that it is better to be in the house of God one day than a thousand days elsewhere. And we are just so pumped to have to be able to see everyone, to worship God together, to praise the name of Jesus all together again. And we hope to see you when we have our grand opening here at 212 Murray Street. We hope to see each and every one of you. And if you can't come live, join us online because it is going to be an awesome, awesome, amazing time. Again, thanks for joining us. We hope to see you soon. And very, very soon we will be going live. Look further for any more announcements. God bless you all. We'll see you soon. several months like I said to you at the beginning of this broadcast we have seen God do tremendous things you know over 20,000 plus families were blessed through fire of God's outreach last year alone in the middle of a great pandemic in the middle of you know whatever was going on fire of God was able to reach over 20,000 families in one year it's unbelievable accomplishment and to God be all the glory but I can tell you one thing as we prepare to get ready for in-person services now fire of God is going to be in a position a better position to be able to serve the, our community and serve our city in on a spiritual level as we are preparing the great tabernacle of fire of God for in-person services we know that God is going to do amazing and wonderful things you know over the years We've seen God do tremendous things right here in the sanctuary behind me. 
Over the years, we have seen God's glory descend. Over the years, we've seen miracles, signs, and wonders in a powerful way. And now we know that this is a new season in which we're going to see greater things because the best is yet to come. We have an anticipation that God is about to do something tremendous. So all of our infrastructure inside the building has been upgraded. Everything from our screens behind you, behind our cameraman right here, to all our technology has been upgraded. Our lighting has been upgraded. So not only did we use the year uh, to reach our city and reach our community in a different way, but also throughout last year and this year as well, we have used this opportunity to upgrade all of our system. We've upgraded our lighting system. We've upgraded our projecting system. We've upgraded our sound all the way up in the balcony. I know which you can't see, but we've upgraded all of that. And to God be all the glory. Why? Because we believe that this season, when you walk through the doors of 212 Murray Street, it's going to be a different fire of God. And it's going to be a wonderful place to worship and a wonderful place to visit. Many of you have come in and experienced what I'm talking about. Many of you have been part of what I've been saying, that God has moved tremendously in this house. And now, as we get set for our great grand reopening, we know that God is going to do amazing and some wonderful things. And credit to our wonderful staff and credit to our wonderful volunteers that have been working tirelessly to get this place ready little by little. Like I said to you, it's been over a year that this place has been open. But we know, we know that when you walk through the doors of 212 Murray Street, you will be able to be blessed physically and spiritually. That's our calling, to be a blessing to everybody that comes into contact with fire of God. From our food bank outreach, to our resource center, and now to the great tabernacle of fire of God. I believe God is doing tremendous things. So we're able to help people with their day-to-day -day needs. We're, el we're also able to help people find better jobs, get better education, get integrated back into the society, back into uh, the community, and bringing blessings back to their home. But now, in-person services return to the great tabernacle here at Fire of God. And we're so excited that many are gonna be joining us. You know, we've been flooded with calls and emails asking when is Fire of God gonna reopen? When are we gonna re reopen? When are we reopening? And I can tell you now, soon and very soon, we're all, almost at the end of this broadcast, so I'll be able to tell you exactly when. But let's go on another little tour. And let's show you what else God has been doing. Well, we've come to the end, our dear friends. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday night. We declare God's blessing. You know, it's been a wonderful day of labor of love. Truly, it's a labor of love as we are almost, I'd say, 60% done. And now our media team is gonna come in, test everything. Sound is gonna come in, test everything. There's still a couple of things that we need to adjust here and there. But we are getting ready for our great grand reopening here at Fire of God coming up in just the next little while. I'm going to be releasing the date for you. God has done amazing and wonderful things. And to Jesus be all the glory. We cannot wait till you join us in one of these seats behind me here in the great tabernacle of Fire of God. We know that God is going to do amazing, amazing things. You know, when Solomon built the temple in and when Moses built the tabernacle in the middle of the desert, you find that there was great preparation, great dedication. And at the end, not only did Moses, but Solomon also said, prepare yourselves for God will show up. And I want to say this to you tonight. God is about to show up in a new way here at Fire of God. We've been believing it. We've been declaring it. And we know that something big is going to happen. We know that lives are going to get transformed. We know that lives are going to be 
touched and ministered to by the Holy Ghost. And we know that when the lights turn on and this place resounds with praise and jubilee, we know that God's fire is going to descend, God's glory is going to be manifested in this place in such a powerful way. So, are you ready? Because I'm about to release to you the date of our great grand reopening. Are you ready? Drum roll. If there was a drum roll, there it is. I want to release to you today that Sunday, September the 5th at 11 a.m., Fire of God opens up its doors to the public for in-person services as they return here to the great tabernacle of Fire of God. Sunday, September the 5th, you don't want to miss it at 11 a.m. We are going to declare God's goodness and God's grace for everything that He has done, for everything that He is doing and for everything that He will continue to do. I know that God is going to do amazing and wonderful things. So what to expect? On Sunday, September the 5th, there's going to be food, there's going to be refreshments, and of course, there's going to be an anointed word, powerful praise and worship that are going to touch our life, and hundreds are going to gather in this tabernacle to declare God's goodness. I want you to mark it off on your calendar, prepare, anticipate that Sunday, September the 5th, as we celebrate the grand reopening of fire of God. We know that God is going to minister to you in a wonderful and powerful place. I want you to join me. Like I said, mark it down on your calendars. Let everybody know Sunday, September the 5th, we're going to fire of God for a tremendous time of Jubilee. It's going to be explosive. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great day of celebration. And you don't want to miss it in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be releasing more details of what to expect on that day. We know that God is going to do something tremendous. So Sunday, September the 5th at 11 a.m., Fire of God opens its doors for the great grand reopening of the great tabernacle right here behind me. And we want you to be a part of it. We want you to come in and celebrate. We want you to come and rejoice. We want you to declare God's goodness alongside with the hundreds that will join in this place to celebrate God's goodness and God's grace. My dear Facebook family, YouTube family, on this beautiful and gorgeous Sunday night, I want to leave you with the best is yet to come. And I want to leave you with Exodus chapter 33 verse 17. I want you to go right there to your scripture. It's going to be a powerful verse to bless your life. Exodus 33 17. And I know it's going to be a blessing to your life. From our dear apostle and first lady, from our staff and volunteers here at the great tabernacle of fire of God. Remember, as I usually say each and every single time, Jesus does love you. We love you so much here at fire of God. God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you. Sunday, September the 5th at 11 a.m. in one of these seats right behind me. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you again next time. Be blessed now. Bye-bye.